Yo, what's good, yo? This is Jasenia from East Trima. Yo, I need y'all to follow Bodega Boys on Twitter if y'all fuck with the podcast and shit like that. At Bodega Boys. Also, you can come see me for my phlebotomy skills. But yo, also do not forget that the views expressed by Thesis and Meryl on this show, they not necessarily like the views of their employees and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want them to get sued by Red Bull or like, you know what I'm saying? Or like Biocom or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's for legal reasons. Live from Red Bull Studios, New York. Yo, what up? It's your boy, Jesus Nice, a.k.a. Young Chipoli, a.k.a. Pocket Stay Fat Like Tyrio. Oh, my God. Yo, it's the a.k.a. The Human Durag Flap, a.k.a. Baby Newport, a.k.a. Curve Gotti. A.k.a. Poppy Papsmere. That's right. Yes. A.k.a. The Bodega Boys. Pedro Hring. Episode one. <laughs> this is our attempt at what you kids call a podcast, I yeah. guess. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We don't know anything about this. Nah, this is some new shit. You know what I'm saying? We heard. We everyone else has one. So we, I said, Mero, let's have a podcast. Let's do it. Hopefully, you know, more than five people listen to this. Dope. And next thing coming is our mixtape and clothing line. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You know what it's saying? called Bushy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of a lot of puffy collars and yeah. sixty buttons down the front, and maybe some snaps at the crotch. You know, <laughs> something you could wear to uh, brunch. Yo, shout out to anybody out there wearing a snap crotch onesie right now. Yeah. So I yeah, this you. is this is I our podcast you. where we're going to talk to you about things and such and yeast infections and things. Yeah. So there's a lot of shit going on, man. Um, Me and Mero, we just came back from where? And on the count of three, everyone is going to say marijuana. The fucking VMAs, the Video Music Awards. If you don't know what the VMA acronym stands for, because you lame. You know, I know that's an industry term. Worms. Yeah. We was out at the Ritz Carlton, dog. Yo, it was super late. We were up there. Yo, listen, this is this is gonna sound bad Hollywood, but um, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> yo, we uh, so we go to VMAs. You right. know what I'm saying? Uh, first of all, before we went to the VMAs, we were smoking weed on the Ritz roof, Carlton rooftop. I was not for mad hours. I was not uh, allegedly. allegedly. And uh, then we would go to the VMAs. You know what I'm saying? It's very chill. We got in a car to go uh, 30 feet. You know what I'm saying? Um, when we get to the awards, we did the red carpet. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, we did the red carpet. It was great. Never did the red because, carpet because you know, first of all. We get out there and they announce your name and all the photographers are either getting wild excited yeah. or they don't. Yeah. And they were like, the kid Mir no, Jesus Nice and the kid Mauro. Yeah. I was and like, all uh, the camera all the photographers put their cameras down. <laughs> they're like, all right, cool. <laughs> it's time to get my fucking triceps to uh, break. Oh god, Vanessa Hudgens looking at us like, who are these guys? Yeah, we rolled up to the uh the holding area, you know what I'm saying, before you go on the on the carpet, and Vanessa Hudgens walked up and I was like, Oh shit, it's that bitch Vanessa Hudgens. I was so <laughs> high I did not realize that she was oh, a real person man. and not a TV. Uh, apparition because that's our first time at the red carpets and like a lot of celebrities are jaded like I don't want to walk the red carpets <sighs> wet yo it was so much fun yo, it was like little lit. kids little kids have been standing there for like six hours and they didn't even know who we were but they were just so amped to see so us hype. and we feed off that energy because oh, you know that's how the bodega boys that's do right. can't see it right now we're doing the whip oh, in the studio because with that I just did the nene I pulled my I told my ACL yo listen. so we get to our seats right oh man and yo. we're chilling and who sits down in front of us fucking first of all Dr. Drew sat in front of us us. And I was like, yo, it's Dr. Drew. And he's like, who the fuck is that? Then an hour later, he's just like, yo, son, yo, you Dr. Oz. Or some shit like that. And the motherfucker was like, uh, he was like yeah. Uh, did you go yeah. back to your seats? Security okay. was like behind us the whole time. Like, yo, are they supposed to be here? Where did yeah. they get credentials from? Who let the rest of the St. Lunatics in here? Oh, man. It's fucking terrible. So, like, halfway through the show, uh, uh, first of all, okay, so after Dr. Drew sits in front of us, uh, Amber Rose and Black China sit next to us, or in front of us. Right. Which was dope. You know what I'm saying? Except, Until I like, said something every to them. profanity in the world was printed <laughs> on their clothing, which meant yeah. we were not going to get any camera That's time. Right. That's right. And, and your man Poppy dudes. Papschmere over here decided, <sighs> in his drunken and high state, <laughs> he was going to whisper romantic nothings in the ear of one Amber Rose. So all I see is Miro lean over. He says something to Amber Rose. The face she makes made Black China look at her like, "Yo, are we about to duff this nigga?" And so now I'm sitting like, "Yo." Are we both from the Bronx? Yeah. So if Miro is going to be fighting Amber Rose and Black China, then I guess I'm going to be fighting Black Rose and For the tag team title belt. All right? You would have seen us in the VMA aisles, just two pieces of it, just like <laughs> fighting me, like- me hitting Wiz Khalifa's baby's mother in the head with the hard knuckles. <laughs> with a moon man. <laughs> anyway, 
Miro offended them so badly they got up and left. Yeah, and they were replaced by seat fillers. Yeah. But there were two dudes who had the word faggot all over their entire garment. Ironically. Was, ironically. Ironically. Was, yeah, so ironically. Miro didn't just yeah. say faggot yeah, no, on no, the first no. episode yeah. of this so, podcast. No, I did not. <laughs> so we're not <laughs> that's not the vibe we're going no, for here. No. Well, that's not that. No, no. We're very inclusive. We, we were in LA. We're, it's chill, bro. Yeah, it's, chill. yeah. Listen, there's no sexuality in LA. It's just about your energy, bro. It's about your energy. You know, you know be pansexual. Yeah. <laughs> Just go with it. Yo, but like Jesus said, that was the, the shitty part about that is that we realized, yo, we are not going to appear on camera because they're not going to put these dudes on camera with all this, you know what I'm saying, with all these slurs all over all their clothing. Yeah. Which, so, you know, what I'm you know, it's a remedy that we just drank more. Yeah. And so, you know, the VMAs is going on. There's people dancing and stuff. We, we, our seats are good enough we could see, but we don't mm-hmm. really care. We're flying at yeah, this point. Yeah. So then. And also, we were surrounded by like boring people. Like yeah. it was like, we, like Kelly Osbourne yeah. was there. We, I saw Rita Ora. Rita Ora sitting on some dude's lap. I was know? like, oh, this is boring. If you go to, if you go to the VMAs and you see Rita Ora, you're like, yo, Beyonce. Uh, uh, yo, Rita, Rita, Anse, Rita Ora is the one of those. Oh, oh, Beyonce, oh, right? Oh. <laughs> Yo, she is the fucking champion sneaker of oh, Beyonce. God. Yo, we so we got halfway through the show, we realized that we could get up and leave our seats. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, Big mistake. Big mistake for the rest of the rest yeah. of the audience. So now we're just wallet on like yeah. clearly from the Bronx, just yeah. walking up and down the aisles like goons, scaring celebrities. Oh shit, Jada Smith. What up, Jada oh, Smith? What up, uh, Smith? We met Jada Smith. Jada Smith was like, bros. I love you guys. It was cool. It was cool. Jaden fucks with us. We continue to walk, you know what I'm saying, until we see one Kanye West, aka Jesus, aka the Messiah of Music. Okay, I am a god. That's right. Now, and mind you, you a lot of people thought like if I ever met Kanye, I'd stand out yeah. and start screaming. Uh huh. No, I was like, oh, it's cool. That's Kanye. What Why? Up, because I was flying again. That's I right. was on a hoverboard, but I wasn't on a hoverboard. <laughs> I was literally levitating because I had reached levels of just inebriation that the human body can't take. Yo, there was like alcohol. You know how when it's really hot, heat lines come out. This nigga had alcohol lines come I out. I look like uh, I look like a Hennessy pig pen, all right? <laughs> just malt liquor floating around me. So then Kanye, uh, it's like because now you know when you like when you like drunk like that, uh? you see stuff, but then you hear all the words sound like the adults on like, the peanut cartoons. Wah, 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 so wah, wah, wah. all I see is like Miro in the wah, wah. face of Kanye's bodyguard. Wah, wah, wah. And again, I'm like, yo, it's go time, yo. So I'm coming around because I'm about to hook off on Kanye's bodyguard, yo. This dude looked like a duck blind. This dude was like 80 inches across. You know what I'm saying? He had very broad shoulders, very intimidating dude, probably Eastern European, might have been a gun runner in his past life. Yo, but so we see Kanye, we're like, yo, let's take a picture of Kanye. So I'm like, yo, can I get a picture? And uh, you know what I'm saying? Just because, you know what I'm saying, uh, it would be dope for you to take a picture with us. You know what I'm saying? And his security yeah, guard was like, look for you, Kanye. Yeah, you know what I mean? It would be a dope look for you. Help you know your what I'm brand. You know what I mean? You know, Elevate your help shit. You sell your Hunger Games clothing. That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So this dude tells me, yo, he's not taking no pictures. Uh-uh. Mind you, Kanye is sitting 10 inches away from me. So I'm like, yo, why doesn't he tell me that I can't take a picture with that? Now, I Go would ahead. like to interject here and say Miro just said that very calmly. Yeah. What I saw was Miro basically <laughs> clapped his hands in his fist. Like, I want it. I want to hear it from Kanye. Why can't I want to hear it from Kanye. That? And I'm like, yo, <laughs> we about to get killed at the VMAs. <laughs> Well, this guy knows like at least five kinds of Israeli kung fu. Oh, you already He's know. gonna kill us. You already know. So all of a sudden, and then Kanye is just who's mad chill because you know he might have puffed something backstage yeah. allegedly. Take the edge off. He was wild cool, and he was like, "No, I'll take a photo with them." <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then we get down to take a photo, and uh, you know what I'm saying? If Kanye's there, you know who's sitting right next to him. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. he is a married man, and he brings his wife to all the events. One very pregnant Kim K. That's right. So, Problem is. <laughs> I didn't see her. No, he didn't. He so just thought that was an empty seat. So. I thought the seat was empty. I didn't see Kim K there. So as we're taking the photo, Miro squats down because Miro's uh, Kanye's not standing up. And I squat down like, yo, let me make sure to get in this. And I back up. And I back up into a very pregnant Kimberly Kardashian West. And Kanye goes, every time he goes, yo, it's my wife, dog. He said it very sternly. <laughs> it's my wife. And my feelings were a little hurt. But at the same time, I was like, yo, Kanye just yelled at me. And then I'm like, God, you just yelled at me, yo. That was like, yo, sorry, man, sorry. I thought he was gonna be like, yeah, I'm not taking a photo. But we're getting our damn photo. Get our motherfucking photo. Shout out to Shelby who took the photo. Word. Happy birthday. Yo, we love you. So we took the photo and we went back to our seats after that. But now we're famous. I think we're signed to good records now. Yeah. Right? Good music. Good music. We got some stuff coming out. I'm working with Travis Scott. <laughs> I have uh, Kid Cudi. He's going to be singing on one of my tracks. <laughs> so I was about to say, Kanye yelled at me sounds like a track off the Travis Scott album. Yeah. That's probably track 12. Kanye yelled at me. Kanye yelled at me. Oh. Parentheses, Oxycontin. 
Yo, Bodega Boys in the building, dog. Um, let's take a moment to talk about the most fatable athlete in the United States of America. Howard, I believe, got that technical as he threw the ball away in disgust. And that is Dwight Howard's 10th oh, come on, technical Dwight. foul. Yeah, he's got to stop. stop. Yeah, yeah, and I'll tell you, Delaney just told Howard to yeah. stop that. Dwight Cornball Howard. <laughs> Dwight, I wear a scuba got, suit on the court. Oh, uh, Dwight Howard, who is like a my player in NBA 2K16. <laughs> if you take every accessory for your customer, character you got the compression sleeve oh, the headband duh. the wristband the magnetic doesn't really work but i'm gonna try it anyway Fuck the it. copper bracelet copper Brett Favre oh, jeans that. the compression vest that <laughs> only like child molesters wear and he is on the court now and he went yeah. from the court to the airport with a loaded burner what an idiot carry on you know it's crazy i like we were talking about this earlier and i was like yo this is crazy why would you ever go anywhere near an airport with a gun and then we realized it's because we're from New York yeah and Dwight Howard is from Texas, Texas. and having a gun Texas. in Texas is like fucking it's like having like a, like fucking, a metro card yeah. on you it's like, like everyone oh, has it oh oh, I got a lighter yeah I got a 9mm too here Yo. here's a better question though Why, what, I got is, it. what is Dwight Howard doing with a gun I would love does to he know. not have enough money for security also, if his, someone runs down on Dwight Howard you mean to tell me Dwight Howard thinks it's a good idea that he's going to pull out a gun on someone and possibly shoot and kill them yeah because it's very easy for Dwight Howard to shoot somebody and then get low and like and disappear then, and into no a crowd. Yeah. You know Who saying? shot him? I don't know. I don't know. It's the eight it's, foot twelve black it's guy. It's a very disappointing basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're nine foot twelve, dog. What the fuck are you doing? Yo, what is it? Like, is, does he just not want to spend money for security? God, He's worth a million. How much yo, how much is Dwight Howard worth? What is Ron Antes doing right now? Ron Antes will definitely be your security guard for wow. like a, a nominal fee. You know what it is? Doesn't Dwight Howard have mad kids or something? He has mad kids. Yeah. He's worth at least $100 million. You could You could pay Peanut, Pookie, or Malcolm Jamal Warner to be security for you, Dwight Howard. <laughs> I need Jamal you to make better Warner. choices in life. You could definitely pay Malcolm Jamal Warner. You know Warner. what? I just also like to point out that after we said he was wild soft and I wanted to fight him on another show we once had, <laughs> that now he's walking around with a gun. <laughs> you see the influence? Let's see what he knows what time right. it is. He, know, he don't want to end up like Stefan Marbury at the light. <laughs> Dwight, man, you gotta hire somebody, man. You gotta still, yo. yo, famous people, stop outsource your dumb shit, man. We have spoken about this before. Yes. Outsource your dumb shit. It's outsource like when your you guns, hear outsource so, your prostitution, you, all of that. If it's like when you hear about somebody who's worth like fifty million dollars and they get like a DUI, Come like on, dog, dog. How much? How much does Uber cost? How much? The, you could, you're so rich that you can buy a car that drives itself, man. This, oh, Come on, you can buy choices. a prototype self driving. You can call Google, man. Help, they'll help you out. But you know what? Dwight Howard would have to have a bodyguard bigger than him. Because, yeah. yeah. You look like an ill herb if your bodyguard's smaller than you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come through and fucking. Come through with the. <laughs> yeah. Dwight Howard has to bend down, like, yo, good looks. Yo, good looks, my G. Good looks. How often do you think people were running up on Dwight Howard? They have to walk around with a gun. Oh, man. They're you trying know, to send him to a free throw line. He, he seems like the type just to have it. Yeah. He thinks it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. He's cool. He's like posing with in the mirror, yeah, rapping come on. along with like Aaron Hernandez ass nigga. Oh, that's <laughs> Dwight with the burner, y'all. Uh, he probably uh, has like uh, an alternate uh. name he uses uh, yeah. where he has come the on. gun in the mirror. Yo, it's D White. Yo, it's D White, dog. Yo. Twelve millimeter DW nine double M twelve gauge. Uh, he's on YouTube researching how to do gang signs. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you already oh, know. Oh, yo. let, me, let me take it back to the thirty second mark. I really can't get that. I is can't that get that. Is that an O? Niggas do American Sign Language uh, and shit. Like, uh, I love sandwiches that have peanuts. Blat, blat. I have a gluten allergy. Like y'all, dog. You just signed something mad boring. You look like fucking uh, Jane Goodall. That's not a gang sign, my guy. He looks like Coco the monkey. Coco the gorilla. <laughs> you see Dwight Howard walking around with a kitten like, I love you. Apple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a worm. All right, Bodega Boys, we're back. That's right. Cowards. Back in both ways. Uh, back to back, like Drake. Uh, Speaking of Drake, who was roasted, who roasted Tiger, mm -hmm. who said... um. Act your age, not your girl's age. Remember Ooh. that? Remember that? Ooh. And then this week, we were blessed to have the insight into Tyga and Kylie's um, life. Oh, Their man. romantic intimacy. Incredible. What happens behind closed doors. I want to keep my friendship and relationship with her. You know what I mean? Because I feel like it, it's, it doesn't matter what the world thinks. You know what I mean? I like it. I think it's funny that he went on the radio and he was like, yeah, I'm not dating Kylie at all. And then, like, a, a month later? Because I'm going to video be like, yo, she a big girl, dog. I stimulated with my penis in her butt. Oh. Like, yo, very graphic. Like, letting us know, like, yo, I have been smashing this for at least a year. You know oh, what I'm saying? Tiger. Like, savage. Tiger. And I feel, like, first of all, I feel, I want shout out to me. Shout out to Young Chipotle <laughs> for pronouncing his name right now. Yo, for real. Oh, shit, that's right. Yo, we chill. Talk about it. We got to take, take a moment to acknowledge this. 
Jesus is notorious for saying people's names wrong. Notorious. We have met celebrities, and he's been like, yo, what up, Robbie Schmerding? <laughs> like, yo, I don't what know. up, Tigger? I'm like, oh. I don't I'm know. Like, oh. Listen, if I read your name, <laughs> I'm going to pronounce your name the way I first read Phonetically. it. <laughs> like, listen, I, like, I'm like i like someone who has a GED. Like, I don't, I'm not working it out. And once it's locked in my brain, that's the way I'm pronouncing that's it. That's it. So for years, I was calling Tiger Tigger. <laughs> <laughs> also, no one has ever corrected me on it. People just yeah. let me cook for weeks. No, they I thought mean, I was being funny. Was no, funny. I was being illiterate. I thought, you were, so, I thought it was this. You know, shout out to you, Tiger and Kylie. <laughs> now that I can pronounce your name, you Tiger, you scumbag. You made it. Also, shout out to Kylie, who has gone from a very numptuous and sensual Nubile. seventeen year old <laughs> to now she is about forty eight. Yes. Her lotus photos. Yes. She's about to be in the social security office complaining. Listen, life has not been. Uh, Easy on the, the young lass. <laughs> Dog, she, she is She looks like she's aging. going through the potato famine. Oh she's aging like guacamole and bananas <laughs> left out on the counter. <laughs> yo. Oh, man. She's aging like fucking ice cream. Like, yo, oh. what is going on with you? She's aging like she's in central New Jersey. <laughs> It's like she's smoking uh, Paul Malls with no filter. It's no filter. Uh, Listening to Mad right. Bon Jovi. Very uh, loud. A lot of teased hair. Son. She's going through cans of Aquanet. Yo, it's a Camaro. It's an old dude. So nice Tiger, car. Tiger got her. When she was at her hottest, at her peak. Yeah. Do you yeah. think Tiger's going to jump off it? Because Tiger is only relevant because of her. That's true. All right? No one's trying to hear Tiger rap. Yeah. At all. He rode uh, Lil Wayne's dreads into the game. Then mm -hmm. he hopped off, and now he's riding Kylie's extensions into the sunset. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, because she, she looks like... She looks like a fucking Pokemon. You know that Pokemon that has the fucking that's just like has the just the black face with the lips and the wig. What the fuck is that Pokemon called? Do You're you looking around room? like someone else in this room Victor watching knows. Pokemon. Victor, Victor's looking. He's Pokemon. Uh, he's, he's he's acting like he's googling it right now. He knows it off, the but dome. he knows off the dome. But he has the front like he has to give it thirty seconds so it doesn't look like he wasn't playing Pokemon last night. She's one of like Jinx. 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 There you go. Jinx. Uh, Jinx. Jenner. Jinx. Jenner. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yo, also, throwback to uh, the VMA story. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the mother's name? Chris. Chris. Oh, shit. Yo, y'all got to look at that photo. Listen, go on my Instagram, go on Deez's Instagram, uh, Instagram plug, at Deez's Nice, or at the Camaro underscores in between each word. Mm -hmm. And you can see in the background of the photo, Chris Jenner giving us the laser death stare. Oh, dog. she's staring at me like, like, who are these? Who are these ruffians? Rough riff raff. Why are they about to hurt my <laughs> meal ticket? <laughs> see, and also, I don't know if... She was looking because I resemble the yeah. man who is currently Yo. giving her the dark skin peener. <laughs> Yo. Or if she, she was just like, what the hell is going on? Or she was looking at me like, Yo, oh, oh, wow. Might I, need I, upgrade. See I see a spinoff. <laughs> Yo, Corey Gamble, slow for you, my nigga. Oh, you know what I'm saying? These are like coming for that number one spot. Dog, let me get on the Kardashians. Let me, let me, oh, Ooh. you guys don't understand the levels of coonery and selling out. <laughs> you will see if I'm on the Kardashians. You'll see me in Yo. like, I'll be wearing those, those shoes that have all your. Your toes exposed and uh, like running feet with the spats. Oh man, this is me on the Kardashians like Michigan J Frog. Like, uh, I'm a <laughs> did you see me and Caitlyn Jenner just crying at Malibu over lattes? That, that's dog. That's that, I'm off that lane. Give I'll it to let, me. Yo, of course. I'll let yo, I'll let Chloe Kardashian punch me in the nuts for five minutes on TV oh. just to be on that show. Just imagine me and just to get the juice from me that and show. Miro. We're keeping Lamar away. You know what I'm saying? Trying to clean the Ferrari. We're like, yeah, get out of here. Yo, get out of here. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. Dust head. Yo, no, Squeegee Man haven't been popping since the '80s. Dog, get out of here. Beat it. Lamar ordered to start breakdancing. Like, oh, Yo, give me a quarter. Do, 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 do. Shout out to the homeless dude in front of Katsuya in L.A. I just did a wild. Wow. Is, that a, is that LA? Whoa, that, that was the yeah. wild Hollywood drop. So dog. LA, like, yo, come on, dog. You don't, wow. need, you don't need tuna tartare, nigga. Stop running. Yo, he just, yo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't even know who you are at this point. <laughs> Remember when Kid Miro was like, yo, shout out to East Chimar and shoot your do rag off. Now he's like, yo, shout out, yo, shout out to the Fresh Press Juices on Malibu Boulevard. <laughs> Shout out! Shout out to Miyaki who makes yeah. all my uh, California rolls. Yeah, dog. I was, no, niggas went to LA and, and did the LA thing for we real. We really did, dog. For real, like we really. Niggas did. out there do eating vegan shit, dog. I, I tried to get a chopped cheese sandwich the other day, and I was like, um, could you use peanut oil? Can you put avocado? Does this have avocado? I was like, uh, is this organic? <laughs> is this, is this organic chopped cheese? <laughs> Um, <laughs> can you use locally sourced bread? <laughs> I was like, um, what kind of food is the cat that was eating living on the bread? Like, what kind of food does she eat? And is this like wholesome? How much corn is in her diet? Yeah, oh Poppy's like, oh, you want to get you want to order? Get the fuck out of here, Poppy. What happened with this? You say you have it. What is that? I what what is a gluten? 
Poppy, do you do you have uh, do you have like a limerita IPA? <laughs> I'm uh, trying. Do you have gluten free limeritas? Uh, no, Poppy. Uh-huh. Hey, taking this. Do you, do you guys take Apple Pay? <laughs> you know, go in the bodega, try to use Apple Pay, Apple Pay, and uh, see if you don't get the wild home invasion on, a week later. You get suplex onto the grill. Everyone else is using EBT, and you pull out your phone and you're trying to swipe it. <laughs> you looking like a target. Oh, oh my man. God. You might as well just turn your pockets inside out right there. You just turn to everyone in the bodega like, I have money, rob me. Please, come to my house. You know where I live. Everybody follow me home. It's, it's a good thing niggas are still broke, though. No, we still, listen, if you break into my house, <laughs> me and you, I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'm going to be sitting down very calm. Hey. I'll be like, yo, you want to find money? <laughs> go ahead. I was like, listen, we'll go room to room. <laughs> we can- I was like, I got a jar that's going to Coinstar in four weeks. Listen, you want to carry it now? I hope you. That's all I got. Yo, you got to bring the hand truck, though. I'll be like, yo, you want to sit down? I'll teach you HTML. You can get money that way. <laughs> oh, I have a friend to wake up now. Maybe you can get residual <laughs> income. But you ain't getting no money from me. Yo, yo dog, you kidnap me and take me to the ATM and I punch in my code. You're going to shoot me. Oh, you're going to be like, man. damn, I wasted gas doing yeah, this. You're gonna, yeah, you're definitely going to clap me out of frustration when you look at my a thing and it has gonna be like uh, overdraft. Minus sign LOL. If you take me to the ATM, like, trying to get money from me, I'm going to have to borrow money from you to pay the overdraft so we can view my balance, all right? So that's why I'm not recommending this to you, all right? Don't let all the sneakers fool you. Yeah, no. I'm still eating the shrimp egg rolls, all right? The lady's like, yo, I see you on TV. Why are you still eating this garbage food? Because I'm like, I'm still living a garbage life. Straight up. Guess what I had for dinner last night? Chef Boyardee out the can, dog. Guess what I had for dinner? Uh. Regret. Oh! Oh! Bodega Boys, That's episode right. one. Uh, Jesus Nice to Kim Mero. Uh, Shout out to Red Bull Studios New York. That's right. Follow them on Instagram and Twitter at RB Studios NY. Or go to www.redbullstudios.com backslash New York. That's right. I'm reading this shit off the card. I was about to give y'all the Wi Fi network and the Wi Fi password, but it's slow for you. <laughs> Show up if you need that. And if you get a chance, come down to 220 West 18th Street. In Manhattan. That's right. There's Come down to the cool Red Bull stuff. Studio space. We have actual stuff going on, exhibits yeah. going on. We yeah. were down here. We saw a cloud mm-hmm. a couple months back. Walked it's no longer it. here. We walked through it. It's on Miro Snapchat. That's right. It's very inspirational. It's, it, will, it will take you somewhere. I never realized that at some point in my life, I would walk through a cloud. <laughs> so come through. They're putting up some new cool stuff. Every uh, You know, it's an art space. So you see some art stuff. Get some class in your life. Yo. Because I feel like a lot of you guys are like kind of scumbags. That's yeah. why you really enjoy this podcast because me and my Meryl, you know, uh, we are scumbags. We're scumbag brethren. Yo, but listen, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Is this free, Joe? Is this, you can just walk in here? Yo, it's, it's free. free, dog. So, yo, it's if you're free. a young dude and you're trying to impress a girl, man, just bring it bring here. Here, This is a date. Yo, it's classy. Don't be, don't be one of those jerks that's like, yo, ma, Netflix and chill. No. no. That's mean. Girls don't like that. Ladies, like do you that. like a Netflix and chill date? No. no. See? 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 Netflix and chill is not cool. You know what is cool? La Marita, Chipotle, and let's watch these live league videos of ISIS assassinations Woo, on my couch. Yo. All right? Yo, ma. Yo, ma. You ever see a dude drown on six different GoPros? Oh, it's lit. It's lit. It's lit. <laughs> <laughs> or you bring you bring the girl back to the crib and y'all just search Bronx BBQ fights. Oh! All right? Talk. Yo, we got to, can we, we got to delete that. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to make a DVD compilation of Bronx BBQ Bronx DVD fights. Co- oh, man. And we're not talking about BBQs, like backyard BBQs. We're no. talking about the chain the restaurants. Chain. Yes. BBQs. Yes. AKA the most dangerous place in New York City. Yes. The only place in New York City where the crime rate is still the same as it was in 1989. That's right. David Dinkins is the general manager of every BBQs. BBQs is just like, first of all, BBQs is, if you've never, if you've never been to New York and been blessed... <laughs> Because I think they have them other places, but yeah. only the ones in New York be ratchet like this. Yeah. First of all, for like $4, you can get like 64 oh, ounces my God. of just the most toxic uh. margarita ever. <laughs> and when they bring it to you, they look at you dead in your eye and they're like, yo, would you like to add a test tube of Patron <laughs> for a dollar? <laughs> no one has ever in their life said no to that. Nobody. Yo, people that are like, yo, what's the Bronx like? I want to experience the Bronx. Go to BBQs at Bay Plaza. Oh, man. And enjoy yourself. Me and Miro were in there. <laughs> First of all, it's like people were like, oh, y'all niggas on TV? Yeah, go fuck yourself. Yeah, exactly. Go teach yourself over there. <laughs> you got legs, right? <laughs> and it's like the drinks are just so strong. Yes. And, every, and like the AC is not working. Oh, Everything gets man. woozy. Yes. You think God. some guy's looking at your girl. Hey, yo, bonus. You can go outside and smoke weed in, betwe- in between your meal. You can take a little seventh inning stretch after your 60th, you know what I'm saying, Hennessy wing. Oh, and go outside and enjoy a little marijuana cigarette. And then in the parking lot of Bay Plaza. That's right. Yo, shout out to Bay Plaza. I was at the Red Lobster in Bay Plaza. Woo! Not even a week ago. They still got a security guard, dog. <laughs> Why do you need a security guard at Red Lobster? <laughs> and a security guard looked at me like, yo, dog. 
I ain't really about the security guard shit, so don't act up. Yo, the... <laughs> And I was like, yo, I'm just trying to enjoy Ultimate Feast, my dude. Yo. And he looked at me like, yo, you think I want to be a security guard at Red Lobster? Dumb. Play with me if you want. <laughs> that is the most West Indian establishment in the Bronx. It might be, dog. That's the only Red Lobster that serves doubles. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, man. Yo, serious. Come on. So for real. Uh. I love it. Oh, Red Lobster shot. Send us some cheddar biscuits. Yo, come also, on. why did I have to request the cheddar biscuits from Bokeisha, no. nope. my waitress, who had the wild attitude? Mm-hmm. And she was like, first of all, she didn't bring the cheddar biscuits. We had to request it. <sighs> had to have to request water. Oh, is that like a nah. thing now? You have to nah. request water? Nah. I don't really be going out to restaurants. You what know? is this, LA, dog? I, I water. need water. No Give me the water, Bokeisha. Come on, man. Anyway. Bokeisha, you fucking up. And then they got the nerve to have gratuity already printed on the receipt. Oh, they you crazy? And they don't start at 15. They're like 20, 25, and 30. Listen, Who was leaving a 30%, 30% gratuity at Red Lobster? They know their clientele. You know uh, what I'm saying? <laughs> and now I'm in that weird position in life where I'm kind. I'm not famous, but I'm famous enough that People expect if you, you want to beef about me, you could do it. Uh, so yeah. then I was like, yo, I was like, yo, I'm going to leave her the wild 10% tip. Right. But then I know she'll go on Lipstick uh-huh. Alley uh-huh. and throw me under the bus. Uh-huh. And people be like, that cheap nigga Jesus. Same pocket stay fat like Cheerio, but he leaving like $5 on the bill. And I can't have that. Pocket stay fat like Cheerio. It's looking more like Loopy Blog out here. Very uh, skinny. You know uh, what I'm saying? Shout to Loopy. Shout to Loopy. Put your clothes on, dog. Yo, my man Loopy's out here wilding in the streets. Uh, so I left, I left I left her the fat tip. You know okay. what I'm saying? Pulse. And I gave her, I gave her the, you know, I was like, yo, would you like a photo? She was like, I don't know who you are. I was like, that's cool. Um, <laughs> and you know, I, I on the light flex, I went into the uh parking lot where my Uber was waiting, and people yeah. was looking at it like, what is that? <laughs> what is that? They was like, because you know, we don't really we have Ubers in the Bronx, but like that? A Red Lobster Uber? Yeah, that's a flex, That dog. is a strong that's flex. That's a flex. Some chicks inside were against the window like, damn, yo, it's quiet for you, boyfriend. Yo, when you walk out of Red Lobster with your mouth all greasy and just, just sh- hop in a waddle Uber? into an Uber, dog? And they, 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 hello, Jesus. I'm like, hello, yeah. Malik. You might not even know, but you're a council member right now. Of the oh, Bronx. man. You know what I'm I am. I'm, yeah. Listen, we're, we're big things right now. We were off office. Like, the office, it's like, oh, what is it? J-Lo, French. Yeah, us. Miro, me. Yep. Remy. I think, I, yeah, I think we surpassed Rami at this we point. We surpassed you know Rami. Yeah, yeah, she's hanging out. She's too, still doing the thing. Yeah, she's, doing, she's getting still busy. She's but hanging out know, in Brooklyn too much. We're doing our things on all platforms. So. <laughs> Why did you give it a dirty Brooklyn look? Shout right? out to Brooklyn. We got a Brooklyn <laughs> person in here, so. We're going to take a quick break and lock up all the possessions. <laughs> Bodega Boy's back in the building. No credit. No, it's Jesus Nice and the Kid Mero live uh, from Red Bull Studios, y'all. That's right. I'm going to let you drop the drop. Go ahead, drop the drop. Live from Red Bull Studios, New York. Oh, serious. Yo, uh, I saw something very interesting this morning. I was looking at the internet. Yes. You know what I'm saying? As I'm I, I've through. heard of that. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a cool thing. The kids are on it. Yeah, a lot of things are on it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of... Uh, Pino. Yeah. Like, gaping, <laughs> Pino. gaping moist holes. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> the, the cover of The New Yorker, you know what I'm saying? This morning had a f- was a dope cover. It was Kanye holding up a newspaper that says Trump defeats Kanye. Like yes. it was in reference to what president was that? That Hoover. Who, it was Hoover, right? Cover. Right. Hover. <laughs> some some old white dude that's on, a, that's on currency. Have we ever needed facts? No. No. Did, did, did you really need the fact? I didn't need that fact. story. I didn't need the fact. You could have been like some president. Yeah, some anyway, president. Y'all Google it. It was a reference to another, to, to another president. That that's did our the same new model. Thing. Y'all Google it. Yeah, y'all do that. Your girl you beefing with you about something? She's like, yo, who was that girl you was talking to? You'd be like, yo, you, y'all Google go, it. Go ahead. Y'all Google, go Google that. Go Google that, Mars. Google that. So anyway, so it, it was a dope picture, and it made me think I was of uh, you know because Kanye, as you said earlier, was at the VMAs, and he said that he was going to run for president. Right. So Kanye running for tre- president doesn't seem so ridiculous to me because Donald Trump is, get, yeah. is doing numbers. He's if, out here. If Trump was running for president, Kanye saying that no one would take him seriously. Nobody. Because Trump is out here. Yep. It's like yo, it's a possibility. Him. Yo, Trump is saying shit that like will get you fired from your job, dog. And he's going higher in the ratings. Yes. It's like Trump insane. is like yo, like Trump is gonna come out and be like yo, we should stab every pregnant Mexican woman in the stomach, and people are gonna be yeah! like yo, I'm with it, I'm with it, ah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, make America great again, ah, China, fuck China. What's his obsession with China? He's obsessed with China, dog. If you don't know, if you if you're not following this type of shit, go on, just go on YouTube and find the supercut of Donald Trump saying China, China for three minutes, just it China. Will, it will hypnotize you. Say dog. China. It will make you think that China is not a real word or a country. And once you once you hear him say it. He like the word yeah. will lose all meaning. To yeah, him. China, 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 China. It's so ill. Like Donald Trump can make anything sound wrong. Yes, you know what I'm saying. So shout out to him for being a fucking wing. <laughs> I don't think Kanye. Who like Kanye would probably be a, pres- a better president than Trump. Absolutely. 
Probably. Probably. I feel like, you know, like he'd get into like a lot of like skirmishes with the house and, oh, and all that man. stuff. He definitely would. But I don't think Trump has like any real plans and stuff. Like what he is it? Like what like what's his plan to beat ISIS? Come on, dog. He's like he's he's right now he's like appealing he's pandering to motherfuckers he's right pandering. now he's like yo I'll get all the Mexicans out I promise and no, uh, like, build a giant like, wall who's gonna build a giant wall yeah Mexicans that's what we have Mexicans for go to any construction site right now dog and who's tell working me who's the building hardest? who's who's tearing right. down the most walls and building the it's most the shit. Mexicans yes that's there's right. some Jamaicans there but we're always yes. there beefing about some shit. <laughs> <laughs> And we're back, y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's the Bodega Boys. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Bodega Boys. And also on the web at thebodegaboys.com. I feel like every time I get on the bus in the morning, something happens immediately as soon as I get on the bus in the morning. I feel like I'm the call, I'm the catalyst of mad fucked up shit happening. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Yo, when I got on the bus the other day and that crazy shooting went down, the shit where the dude fucking clapped all the people in Virginia. Oh, I thought I thought you meant like someone shot off the bus you oh, were so, on. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, that, that would definitely I would, be on my Snapchat. Though. I would be like, yo, you were like, you're very calm about this. Yeah, also, no. this is the first time you mentioned it. Oh, the Virginia shooting. Yeah, that was that crazy. Was, that, that, was was wild. Wild. that was wild. That was wild. That was a minute ago, but you know yeah. what? Guess what? This is a free podcast. Don't complain about Don't it. Don't complain about shit. Or you paid for nothing. You know what I'm saying? All right. Shout out to Red Bull for sponsoring this. Don't complain about it. You know what I'm saying? Go buy some Red Bull and don't be a douchebag. That's right. Anyway. That, the guy in Virginia, he yeah. shot the two people on TV. And I got on the bus, and everybody knows when I get on the bus, I'm smacked out of my mind. Smacked. Smacked. Travis Scott, that yeah. flying yeah. track. Yes. Oh, God. Up. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel like I get on the bus. So I get on the bus, and I'm watching Twitter, mm -hmm. and all this shit is happening as I'm looking at Twitter. It's like, oh, shit, yo, this dude just shot this shit. And it, and it felt mad fake. And then the first person video of him actually shooting came out, and I was like, yo. He used the GoPro. I was like, yo, this is crazy. And did he use a GoPro? Yeah, use a GoPro for that. Oh shit! Yeah, shout out to GoPro. The uh, the quality on that film was great. <laughs> Yo, um, <laughs> yeah, like listen, this is. I mean, this that's culture now. That's social. He put he put it on social media. Yo, that's crazy. Think about that's like, the first that's, time that ever happened. That's the first. Yeah. That's the first like viral murder, dog. Damn. Like, if, what is that to do? I mean, that's the way technology is going. The motherfuckers gonna get bored now. Just, just, it's just, gonna be like, listen, yeah. someone's gonna do a murder and they're gonna have like three different angles from drones. Oh man! So, oh no! The drone murder video. You had the guy that shot the two cops and he put it on Instagram. Yep. So you see the you see it's the like progression. Up the progression. Come on, dog. Yo, don't do anything crazy on UStream. But then somebody uh, was trying to do like uh, something on Periscope with a gun. And he shot himself. Fucking and died. Dick. See, somebody was doing a. Uh, Selfie and shot himself in Texas. I don't understand how you shoot like you do a selfie with a gun. And shoot so, yourself. Like that's pretty much so, just hold the gun. Yo, I don't want to take. Where are these motherfuckers from? I don't want to be photographed holding any firearms. Well, like you said earlier, we're from New York. God. All right. If I if you put a gun on Instagram in New York, the cops you are going a good to jail. chance the cops will find you and kick in your door. Because <laughs> yo. there's one thing about the cops: the cops are lazy. Yeah. But they're not that late. Yeah. Like, if you just offering shit up to Come them, on. they're going to take it. You can't throw it off the backboard and think they're not going to slam dunk the shit. Exactly. They're going to put you under the jail. Officer Buckawiski is on. <laughs> he's uh -huh. in the 47 precinct right now on Facebook uh, looking man. for guns, pot. Yeah, marijuana. Pr uh, Prosciutto, come over here. Look at this. Look at this over here. Look at this fucking guy. Okay, the Kid Mero. Uh, Kid Mero over here has the 4-5 uh -huh. ACP. He's taking look, the photos. Look at, this. <laughs> look at this fucking guy. He I thinks got he's some a throwback old. Thursday when, you I throw, when I throw your fucking <laughs> back against that holding cell. All right, that's your throwback Thursday. Oh, your what are you fucking crush? around? You got to come hanging off the horse like Rambo, pal? Huh? Listen, I got your man crush Mondays over here. His name is Bubba. He's going to be in a 4-by-4 four four cell with you. I hope you enjoy sucking cock, you cocksucker. Uh, damn. Yeah, don't don't give Prosciutto a gimme case. Yo, shout out to all the cops right now posting fake uh, prostitution oh, ads yeah. on Craigslist. Oh, yeah. Like, we're not hip to that. Come on. All right, we know it's the same three photos of a, 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 red a red headed girl yep, yep. all over the Bronx. 40 roses for girlfriend experience? Yeah. That's very low price. That's I think suspect, It Ma. sounds like a setup. All right, why are you not showing your choach in your photos, huh? <laughs> huh? What's going on here? You're, you're on supposed you, to cop. Yeah, I like how they write, like, all the hookers on Backpage write, if you're law enforcement, you're obligated it's to tell me. me. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, what law and order episode did you see that told you that's going to stand up in court? <laughs> Shout out to all my paralegal prostitutes out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're like, remember our King of Queens, his wife? Uh, come yeah, on, dog. Doing that shit. Come on, oh, man. Oh, man. Give me a break. Oh, yeah. Just keep watermarking your JPEGs, man. Seriously, Just worry. Worry about people flagging you on Craigslist. For Don't worry real. about the cop. If the cops are gonna catch you, the cops are gonna catch you. They gonna catch you. You know what I'm saying? Work. Keep working hard at Monroe. Is that a bad thing? If me and Meryl were caught up in some sort of prostitution, well, not Meryl. Meryl's a married. Yeah, yeah, no, no. If no, I no. was caught up in some sort of prostitution, <laughs> I think that could only help my career. It might. It that might. career. It might. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like I'm at that point that I'd be like, yo, Jesus is out here. He's out here. He's out here. Yeah. 
I feel but, like you know? I feel like we've we've done pretty good branding ourselves and setting the table yeah. to kind of like flip for lower expectations. Happens, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't feel like someone one day is gonna be like, "Yo, here are the 20 worst tweets by Jesus Nice." Because no. those are gonna be some fire fucking tweets. Yo. All right, <laughs> <laughs> those are going to be just great racism using terms you haven't Hell heard. Yeah. I might throw a whop in there, Yo. maybe a dago. You know, this is going to be on, as JetBlue would say. Fleek. Fleek. Okay. So many phobes. All right. In the we're, tweets. But you know what? Also, we're progressive. We're progressive and inclusive. Right? We're inclusive. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all our listeners. Yeah. That go all over the rainbow, the yeah. LGTB, all Everybody. that. You know, Fucking we're out here. Yeah, we're we're here. like the Macklemore of podcasts. That's right. Except we're not corny and I'm not riding on some big black guy's shoulders exactly. yeah. at the VMAs. <laughs> yeah. And I could draw when I was 12, but I had, I definitely like pussy. <laughs> I was sure of the fact that I like pussy when I was 12, even oh, despite man. the fact that I could draw. <laughs> Speaking of being inclusive, standing up for her faith, I'll tell you, I stand with Kim Davis. That's right. Uh, Kim Davis, I'm sure, you know, like maybe you guys don't watch the news. I'm sure a lot of you are potheads, so we're going to give you the news. That's right. There's a lady named Kim Davis. Uh huh. Uh, she, uh, if you've seen her photo, she would be yes. voted hottest chick in the trailer park, uh-huh. uh, 1988. You Miss know, West Virginia Just wearing the Just the latest fashions From Dress Barn Oh man And she is just out here And she was like Hey listen Listen you queers <laughs> You guys are not getting married Listen I know you're here And you're queer But not here But not here Not here So she went to jail For contempt of court Because she refuses Even though they said It's legal mm-hmm. In her state She refuses Because she's like A county clerk mm-hmm. She refuses to issue Marriage licenses To gay couples She's a she's a moron. Let me tell you why she's a moron. Number one, you shouldn't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? You should you should just do your job, let do your paperwork, cook. let niggas cook. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, that's number one. Number two, you could just if you really feel that strongly about the shit, you can do it without. I pass off work all the time. Motherfuckers are like, yo, <laughs> yo, write 10 jokes. I'm like, yo, Jesus, yeah, write 10 jokes. Oh, man. You know what That's I'm saying? True. Like, That's why true. don't you just pass it to fucking Al Davis, who sits at the next desk and be like, yo, here, marry these dudes. But you know what's crazy? She has been married like three times. Oh, pff. oh, so you believe in the sanctity of marriage. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So she's reading through the Bible, but she's skipping farts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she she is here. skimming the Bible like yeah. an MP3 in iTunes. Mm-hmm. Right? She's like, eh, I don't want to listen to this. I want to hear this part. I'll skip right here. Yeah, I'm going to skip the Paul Cain verse. And now she's gone to jail, and now people are saying she is the Rosa Parks oh, man. of traditional marriage. <laughs> Wow. wow. Rosa that's Parks is She's rolling not, over her. in her. You know what grace? she is? She is the white person when they would tell Rosa Parks to move to the back, and the white person in the back, like, yeah, yeah. That's her. Go She's to the back. There. She's Get not, back. She's not no kind of standard for nothing. She probably is texting Paula Dean right now. Oh, Paula Dean's like, hey, <laughs> hey, I, I support you, but I, I, support you. I gotta work on my nene for dancing with the stars. <laughs> <laughs> now watch me whip, whip, watch me nigger. No, oh, 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 messed whoa. up. Messed whip. up. Butter. With all these niggas. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That's not how the song goes. I apologize uh, for that. Butter. So she's like, she's gonna stay in court. She's gonna stay in jail yeah. to prove a point. And then her lawyer, her lawyer her compared. Lawyer oh, no. Her compared. Here we go. Her lawyer said uh, that uh, her she was basically like a Jew in Nazi Germany. Oh God. Yes. Which you know what? Shout out to her lawyer. Wow. Because if I get arrested, I want a lawyer to say some wild shit like yeah. that. Yeah. I want my Take lawyer the heat off you. just to, I want my yeah. lawyer to just not not even be like, listen, don't worry about it. I'll do all the talking. And just say something <laughs> crazy like that. All right. She, the exact quote was that she's just like a Jew living in Nazi Germany. God. He says she is Anne Frank in the attic. Stop. You live in Kentucky, B. There's plenty of people that feel like you in Kentucky. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like, you don't like, live in San Francisco. They don't care. They're just like, yo, where's my Percocets? You know what I'm saying? Let, let those queers marry. Hey, Someone give me some Adderall. I got to find a way right. to take this thing off the top of the Oxycontin so it dissolves into my bloodstream. Since I lost my job at the coal mine, and <laughs> at the coal mine <laughs> my sister won't let me fuck her anymore. Yo, so Come on. Shout out to Kentucky, though. Shout, shout, out, to, shout out to our three listeners yeah. in Kentucky. And all eight of their teeth. <laughs> Drinking Mountain Dew at 8 a.m. <laughs> Got the meth mouth at 19. Your mouth is swollen in like a catcher's <laughs> myth. We love you, though. And we're back up in the building, the Bodega Boys. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at bodegaboys.com. That's right. And you can check us out online on the internet at bodegaboys.com. Dot com. The Bodega Boys. The Bodega Boys. Very important. Oh, I'll bring it back. Oh, I think bodegaboys.com is a porn site, so be sure to put the <laughs> the before it. T H E. Mr. Trump, Tom Brady has your hat, has your hat in his in his locker. You think uh, and he should be? You guys are. Tom is the greatest. Okay, right. awesome. Yo, shout out to shout out to football coming back. NFL. Yeah, lit. Hot wings on deck. Uh, you know. Mad reaction gifts of Eli Manning looking flustered. Looking flustered after an interception. <laughs> 
<laughs> after I sent a tweet that says you can't spell elite, can't spell elite without <laughs> Eli, he's gonna fuck up <laughs> like clockwork every Sunday. Yeah, I hope he accidentally throws fifty touchdowns this year. That'd be oh, so dope. He got throw fifty touchdowns for the other team. So yeah. yo, shout out to Tom Brady. Shout out to Tom Brady, the Teflon Tom. Tom. Teflon Tom. You know what I'm saying? Nothing sticks it. He's America's sweetheart. Yo, I, knew, Taylor Swift. I knew he was getting... Yo. If he impregnated Taylor Swift, America Jeez. would explode into flames. Yo, if you want to make America great again, yep. have Teflon Tom and Taylor Swift have a child. Oh! Jesus. And then have that child run for president. Oh, man. That child got my vote, and I don't even want to I don't even know. I don't even know. If that child goes into power, like... Yeah. I'm going to have to practice my cotton picking. Oh, man. We're going back in the day, dog. That kid will be the most passive, aggressively racist kid on the planet. I knew Tom Brady was getting off, though, when, pause, uh. when <laughs> I saw the video of him. he was him, like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> when I saw the video of him dancing amigos, oh, I was like, there's no way this is going to stick. Come on. There's He's no good. Way. He's the- good money. And then the judge threw it out. Yeah. Come on. What do you think was going to happen? You know the worst part? The judge that threw it out. Kim Davis? Went to Fordham University. Oh, it's lit. Shout out to the Rams. Shout out to the Rams. A, disc, a dark day for the Bronx. <laughs> if you're an NFL fan, you're not a Patriots fan. Obviously. You're a good person. I, I, also, I you. you know, you see the injustice here. Yeah. Okay? It's just disgusting. The deflating balls. And yeah. They're still getting a rock. But speaking of trash in the NFL, you know RG3. 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 Yo, the, his sh- fall from greatness has been fantastic. Oh, it's incredible, dog. Fantastic. And I would like to point out. After he blocked me on Twitter, it's been downhill for him. It's true. Been downhill Unblocked, for him. Um, listen, you want to you have a fucking career resurgence? Unblock my unblock man Jesus, dog. Look, look at J-Lo. That's she right. She unblocked look me. Look what happened. And yeah, look how she's flourishing right now. All right? She's out here. She's she's definitely I not in the Bronx. I don't... Exactly. So she's That's winning. how you make it. <laughs> RG3 never had a chance, though, because he got the Jared curse. Come on. The subway. Uh, uh, all right? RG3's just smiling in the commercial, and Jared's backstage being backstage wild, creepy. Oh, and you just know, imagine being... some guac? Like, oh, God. Imagine being on set with Jared, and he's just, uh, like, in the back. You know, What's the Wi-Fi password? <laughs> why, do you want the fa- <laughs> why do you want the Wi-Fi password, Jared? Is it, is it little boy 07? <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Just, just the worst. Just the worst. Oh, I'm sorry. Yo. Was that too far? Do we have Jared supporters in the room? <laughs> Like you should like you the thing about Jared, like Jared was out there cooking, dog. Yeah, he was. Jared was oh, out there long. cooking. And the sad thing is they don't cook at Subway. No. So that's what's ironic around this. Listen, they fuck yo, they yo, if you ask them to toast the sandwich, it's like yeah. you ask them to fucking make you filet mignon. Yo. It's oh what? Oh, you want to put this in the toaster? Oh. Oh, and then you want to put the cheese on after? But ask for extra meat and they're gonna hit the Jared button on the register. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not cool. It's not all right, but it's okay. Yo, think about that dude's rise and fall, dog. He was oh, just a fat man. motherfucker. Who was just like, yo, I'm going to lose weight by eating trash every day. And then he lost weight. And then he he became a millionaire because he lost weight. And then he started diddling kids. Yo, I met Jaden Smith. And he gave me his power to blow your minds. What if I'm about to blow your minds with this. Oh, what, oh, oh. what if Jared lost weight to be more attractive to kids? Oh, shit. I don't know about that. Because kids like, like, rotund, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like... Grimace is the most popular character in McDonald's. That is true. You know what I'm and saying? Santa Claus is fat. You know what I'm saying? So, so maybe, maybe maybe not. Maybe he was just trying to maybe trying to escape his demons. Be more athletic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, catch him. <laughs> 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 he was trying to fit in the tunnels of Chuck E. Cheese and shit. Oh, like. <laughs> he wanted to maneuver the ball pit better. Oh, we're terrible. We're terrible. I'm sorry. Oh, we damn. Should, we should never came back. No, stop. Bodega Boys. That's right. Starts As you with know, B. Starts with B. You know what else starts with B? And the recipient of the Michael Jackson Vanguard Award and the greatest living entertainer, Beyonce. <gasps> our queen. That's right. Our mother. She doesn't, she's not on Twitter, but she's on Twitter. She doesn't need it because that's Twitter for mere mortals. Today, as we are recording this, it's not going to be when you're listening to it. That's right. It's Beyonce's birthday. That's why we decided to come in here and record. Because, because of Beyonce's the, birthday. This, this, the R was so special. It's a it's a national holiday. Let's give an applause for Beyonce. Yay, Beyonce! Woo! Slick. That's right. All right. Your fave could never. All right. <laughs> and shout out to Beyonce. She didn't even come to the VMAs because she was like, no. No. No, I'm good. Why would I do that? <laughs> she was like, wait, I'm going all the way to LA to watch Taylor Swift and Nikki fake fight on stage. Excuse me? I, I got better things to do. I'm just gonna sit here and eat my kale salad in my sit castle. Just, I'm gonna sit here and look at my bank account. Yeah. Because I don't read so good, but I can read them numbers. Dog. Her bank account, you know that's ticker that has like the national deficit national on debt? it? That's yeah. her bank account. Beyonce, don't even, she's not, she's making money right now from doing nothing. 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 You know what I love about Beyonce today on Beyonce.com, yeah. plug, plug, right. she had a list of her family members, what song they were recommending to her for her birthday on her own website. Wow. That is a wild low-key flex, and yeah. I hope my family members are listening because we're doing yeah. this next year, okay? Let's do it. 
And they even had one from Blue Ivy, and Blue Ivy was like, "Oh, this song from Little Mermaid," because this is what you sing to me. Oh, Listen, Blue Ivy's adorable. It's adorable. I love that little girl. She ain't write that. She didn't. She ain't picked no songs out. <laughs> no, no. She ain't doing no. that, man. Somebody, did. Memphis Bleak wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we came back from Outback with the uh. Blue Onion. Yo, Jay. <laughs> Yo, Jack, I got you blooming onion. Yo, Memphis Bleak is listening to this, laughing his, at laughing his ass off because Memphis Bleak is good money. He doesn't care, he doesn't dog. Care. I wish I had Memphis Bleak's life. Memphis Bleak is chill. Memphis Bleak can listen to jokes all day as he chills with a debit card attached to the Carter Nose multi million dollar fund. Doug. He might have a better trust fund than Blue Ivy. He has never had a card declined in his life. Ever. Ever. Memphis Bleak, Memphis Bleak does what we did when we was up at the Ritz Cart and blowing the loud. Yep. That's his life. Yeah. Just being in spots he shouldn't be, doing yeah. things he shouldn't be doing. Drinking cognac. Shout out to you, Memphis Bleak. Yo, shout out to you. What are you getting Beyonce for her birthday? Make it easy money, pimping hoes in style. Oh, oh, you took a bitch. Oh, yeah. wow. Look at that. See? That's yeah. old. People don't know that. Yeah. People are going to go on Rap Genius. Like, yeah. what was that? And I can say Memphis Bleak jokes because I bought The Understanding, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. at an airport, which means it was mad expensive because it was the only CD. I had a CD player with no CDs. All I had was a reggaeton mix. And I was like, all right, I've heard this 800,000 times, so I need a new CD. So I caught Memphis Bleak's The Understanding. I have Get Your Mind Right remix on vinyl. Woo! How about I worked at Rockefeller? So oh, okay, I right. stole it from the promo. Yeah, she was just in your locker one day. <laughs> it was just in my locker. <laughs> Y'all have mad old Rockefeller stuff in my house, and I'm like, yo, I'm gonna put this on eBay one day, and I went and looked how much it was going for. Nah, not so much. Yeah, wait 10 you, years. Listen, wait not, 10 years. Only but so many people want an autographed copy of a Mills first Doug, album. Anybo- first and only. Let me tell you, let me, let me put you on. Anybody that has moved here from like Minnesota within like the last five years, you can sell them a 90s Rockefeller shirt and be like, yo, this is a vintage Rockefeller shirt, 1500. Yo, OBO. When, when Rockefeller was popping though, are you kidding who, me? Who, who nowadays is doing it the way Rockefeller was doing it when um, he was doing it? Nobody. Nobody. You know what I'm saying? Fire for everyone. Drake is kind of doing, but Drake don't have like a state property. I don't think that Drake, that Drake is very powerful, but I don't think that Drake has the power to put on somebody like a mill. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like dudes back in the day used to be so talented that they could bring all their talentless all their trash homies people. and put Remember them on. Remember how tight you would be when you bought a rap album and it was like, yo, this is my cousin, Third Eye Kiko. Oh, I'm going to let him oh, get a verse. He's like, oh, God, fuck. Uh, and because it was like tapes and CDs, mm-hmm. it wasn't MP3s, he yep. was like, damn, I got to let this rock. Think about it. Biggie had Junior Mafia do an entire album. Junior Mafia was just like 17 niggas from the lobby yeah. of the project building. That's like, it. They, they had no, none of them ever was like, yo, I could rap. They this were, is a rotating cast. He was Junior at the Mafia. bodega. He was like, yo, how many of y'all <laughs> want to be on my track? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Brooklyn. Hey. <laughs> Best uh, so I, I and you know what? I bought Junior Mafia's first album. I respect you. Remember Junior Mafia? All their albums, that. all their videos was about the feds watching them. Oh yeah. And the feds was like, nah, no, we're not watching. They was you. like, nah, like I'm, dog, no, we're not allocating resources no. to watching Little Kim and Little C's. Dog. Okay. All we have to do is put a camera in this <laughs> bodega. We can watch you all day, but we don't even want to do that. And they were doing like the snipers with the cameras, like come on, come no. on. You guys don't know what federal investigation no. looks uh, like. The clearly. helicopter was not chartered to follow you around Bedside, dog. Uh, I, I promise. I, I have a thirteen sixteen on Little C's. Copy, <laughs> copy. Little C's is at the uh, chicken spot. He's at the chicken spot. The target has been acquired. <laughs> He's ordering a snack box. Anyway, shout anyway. out to y'all for listening. This has been the Bodega Boys. I am your boy Jesus Nice, aka Young Chipotle. Follow me at Jesus Nice on Twitter and on Instagram and on Snapchat, which I don't really understand, but I'll be figuring it out one day. I figure I y'all might see a dick photo of me on Snapchat because I have no idea how it works. Like, I respect it. I have no mode. Miro's. Snapchat is popping though. My Snapchat game is kind of strong right now. You know, he's been putting music behind it. He thinks he's like Woo! fucking Nicolas Cage. Or I'm fu- yo, I'm fucking young Darren Aronofsky out here. Dog. Look at that. Look at this. How LA is. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these references. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? You have no idea. I have Greek yogurt right now in my pocket. I'm about to eat it in like five oh, seconds. Man. Yo, it's the Kid Merrill, you know what I'm saying? A.K.A. The Human Durag, A.K.A. Curve Gotti, A.K.A. Baby Newport, A.K.A. Young LeBron Hairline, and you can follow me at the Kid Merrill on Twitter. At the Kimero on Instagram, at the Kimero on Snapchat, at the Kimero on allrecipes.com. On Yelp. You know what I'm saying? On Yelp. Leave me a good review. On on uh, <laughs> herpes to herpes lovers.com. Oh, no. Damn. <laughs> on J Date. No, stop. Shout out to Red Bull Studios. Shout out to Joe the Super Engineer. That's right. The building. Yeah. Shout out to Red Bull Studios. Come down to 220 West 18th Street, New York, New York. 10011. I nailed that right there. Uh, you I killed got it. it, all right? Be Shout sure to, to follow uh, them right. on Twitter. RB Studios NY. NY and on Instagram, RB Studios NY. I could have just said it's the same for both, but I didn't. 
because we're professionals you here. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to be verbose out here. Shout and out to uh, our friends in the studio, uh, the Ali and Ty, a.k.a. The Wardrobe, Wardrobe Mafia. Mafia. Shout out you know to Satra, you're somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And Victor, who does not want to have a social media presence, so we just going to let him rock. He's just sort of, listen, he's smart. <laughs> He's smart because when they listen, we're gonna go in a lot of trouble for all these tweets. It's gonna be so ugly. It is going to be so ugly. Shout out to all the fans who was like, "Yo, bring back the studio." Like we literally just ran into somebody yeah. in Times Square That's right. who stopped us and was like, "Who Yo, looked like Shaden Briggs?" By the he way, did. <laughs> he did. He looked exactly did. like Shaden Shout Briggs. Shout out to uh, Instagram. His, thing, his name is like I hate shoes on Instagram. It is, yeah. And he was like, the last thing he said to us was, "Yo, bring back." The podcast and I was like, "What are you talking about? We've never had a podcast." But you know what? <laughs> I got in the cab with Miro and I was like, "Yo, we should do a podcast." And he, we didn't know what it was, and I went on Wikipedia. Yeah, and it's apparently it's people talking into uh, some sort of MP3. Yeah, and that's what this is. Yeah. And we hope you enjoyed it. It's dope, man. Shout out to Red Bull. We learn things the way everybody learns things through Wikipedia. Through Wikipedia. And inappropriate touching. That's right. <laughs> Whoa! This has been the Show Me on the Doll Hour. Ah, see you in two weeks, dirtbags. Peace.